for sale on tflbids.com is our very own movie truck. This is TFL Trucks 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. This is an off-road package sport, quad cab, four-wheel drive with a big 5.9 liter, 360 cubic inch V8, the Magnum V8. In this video, I'm gonna walk you all the way around the truck, show you the current condition of it, tell you about every, all the money we invested into it and all the parts, etc. the good and the bad. So let's start kind of right here in the front. We bought this truck several months ago for the purposes of putting it into a video series on TFL truck. No payment needed to hell and back. And the video series is completed. You could see it right there on TFL truck and it's now time to sell it. Um, so this is the current condition of it. Of course, if you've seen the video, you know that this truck was Nathan's truck, the pirate theme Dodge Ram. And yes, the paint is peeling on the hood, a little bit on the fender, also a bit on top of the roof and on top of the doors right here. So yes, the paint is in um, not a great condition here, but here's what we did. We've upgraded or got brand new headlights, in including the side lights, and also changed out and got brand new fog lamps. So that's all there. And then you can see it obviously on both sides. And I'll turn them on later. You can see pictures of them turned on as well. Also, a brand new windshield, as you can see right here. It did have a crack, now it's brand new, a couple months old. That's really nice. It has towing mirrors. So, yes, the standard Ram towing mirrors are here. Let me pop the hood so you can see that. I'll show you the interior in this little, just in a second. Let's look at this big V8. So the engine, we didn't really change at all. So when we got it, it was in this condition. This is approximately 245 horsepower when it was new. As you can see right here, the battery is in pretty good shape. Um, this is the battery that we bought the truck with. It also came with this air raid intake system, but um, we didn't touch it. Um, during the video series, we did mention Super Chips tuner, but now that was only for the video. Um, this truck is fully stock, fully stock programming, four speed automatic. The automatic has been fully rebuilt. So, let me actually start the engine so you could hear it. We spent, TFL Studio spent about over $4,000 on all the updates. And then Realtruck.com spent another $1,500 on updates. So, here you go, as you can see, no engine lights. No warning messages, AC blows cold right now. There you have it. Like I said, we spent over $4,000 and then another $1,500 on this truck. So it purrs like a kitten. Actually, let me show you the exhaust. Brand new dual Flowmaster exhaust system. So it sounds a little bit beefy, but not too loud. Not too loud. The interior is in great shape. Okay, uh, well let me start with the not so good. So the dash was in a, oh, really bad shape, so we got a brand new dash piece. This was about 150 bucks, I believe. Uh, this cover came with the truck, so I just put it on. Uh, this is still slightly broken, this other piece right here. But we covered it with kind of a black tape. And for now, um, this is the state the truck is being sold in. It has this Dodge steering wheel cover. A full six-person 
six person interior and actually the seats and everything is in great shape as you can tell this truck does have a trailer brake controller and a hitch and I'll show you the rear seat also in the back here this can fold up it has a toolkit including the jack um, an extra wiring from maybe an extra speaker but it doesn't come with an extra speaker stereo does work radio and auxiliary and yes the stereo is pretty good let me actually show you the four-wheel drive system so let me start the truck one more time hear this let me turn down the fan like I said, the transmission has been rebuilt completely. I spent about $2,200 of that budget on that. Um, and here, let me shift it to neutral. Here is four high, right there. Let's see it move forward. And then let me go back to neutral. Here is four low. There, and also in four low, the four wheel drive symbol lights up. Mileage on this truck, um, sorry about that, 126,909 miles. Relatively low miles on the truck. Oil was changed. It also has brand new brakes. So there we have it. I went back to neutral, let's see. And there's two wheel drive again. So it's moving. It has giant cup holders, really awesome. It has an old Auxiliary iPod cable, trailer brake controller, like I said. Um, overall, the interior, as you can see, in, is in super great shape as far as the seats, the door cards, the headliner, except for the sunglass holder. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Let me show you in the back. So, like I said, this is a sport very unique package which means it has a unique front end and the, that desirable bumper look also has kind of these kind of dark blacked out accents and it's also an off-road package off-road package means it has a small suspension lift from the factory so you can see those blocks under there right there the tires are in new almost new condition we put about, what, 1,500 miles on this truck, maybe. Uh, we didn't have it, well, we had it for a few months, but we didn't drive it a heck of a lot. There you have it. Then we also put this Gator tonneau cover on. It's kind of a lightweight one. The tailgate has a little dent in the back. As such, when you open it, you have to go like this. You have to squeeze the two tabs to reveal this bed. It did have a plastic bed liner. We removed it and washed it and cleaned it. Um, but right now it is not lined. It's for sale without being lined. It does have a trailer connector in the back here as well. And it has uh, D-rings for tying things down, which is pretty neat for a 2001 truck. So it's very, very usable. And this is a brand new tunnel cover with these little plastic latches, which are very easy to use and fold and put away. Very lightweight tunnel cover. Like I said, twin exhaust system right there. Tires are in very good condition. These are Ridge Grappler Nitto tires. There's a small crack on this mirror. The other mirror is in pretty good shape. Like I said, 
interior is in good shape. We also have this LED light, cigarette lighter powered, and original manual. So, yeah, I mean, this truck uh, has a lot of updates. Like I said, we spent a lot of money on this truck, and it is in a very unique uh, package, off-road sport. So there you have it. You heard the truck run. You saw the four-wheel drive system work. You saw the tire condition. Yes, um, one other thing I want to show you is underneath. The cab is in really good shape. There's some surface rust. And the other um, concern that will, be, will need to be addressed is the front steering linkages. We did not address those all the way, so the front steering uh, linkages will have to be addressed uh, when you buy this truck. But like I said, the engine is strong, transmission is fully rebuilt, brand new brakes, good tires. Um, this could be a very valuable truck because it also has that look, the sport look. It does have an auxiliary transmission cooler. There you have it, and classic second gen styling. You can find it on tflbids.com. Thank you.